Greetings, citizens of the internet. Welcome to Tomorrow Daily, the best geek talk show in the known universe. I'm Ashley Skelly. And I'm Jeff Kanata, ready to give you some headlines. We've seen souped up golf carts. We've seen souped up jetpacks. But what about a golf cart jetpack? This appears to be a pretty entertaining publicity stunt by Oakley for the upcoming Olympic Games in Rio. Since this marks the first Olympics where the sport of golf is in competition for a medal, Oakley and Martin Aircraft tapped Olympic golfer Bubba Watson to ride around a course in a single-man golf cart jetpack. It can fly to an altitude of about 3,000 feet, and the 210-horsepower engine pushes the pack to a top speed of about 46 miles per hour. It's pretty loud, though, which doesn't seem like a good thing for other golfers trying to join a peaceful 18 holes. Oh, and we forgot to mention, Martin Jetpack says personal versions of its jetpacks will be available to purchase at the end of the next year for just, you know, $200,000. Oh, for just so cheap. Yeah. <laughs> Cheaply. I mean, this is, I don't think these are going to replace golf carts anytime soon. I don't <laughs> think so. The Jetpack golf cart. Also considering, uh, like I said, it's like you were saying, it's really loud. Yeah. And normal golf carts are very quiet. Yeah. So unless they plan on, um, I don't know. Changing all of golf forever. <laughs> yeah, or giving everybody noise-canceling headphones, which then you wouldn't be able to hear four. Yeah, very that's dangerous. True. You'll really hear something. You definitely hear some. <laughs> the buzzing of your impending death. Um, usually, guys, we talk about Atlas when we talk about human-like robots, but today we're going to talk about Duras. You might recall Duras from last year's DARPA Robotics Challenge Finals, where it walked two kilometers in about two and a half hours. Duras has been making major strides since then, no pun intended. He can now officially walk eerily similar to a human. More natural heel-toe contact is one of the keys to this human-like gait, and the addition of snazzy sneakers adds a very fun touch to Duras's testing. It's not leashed to anything for power, though it is tethered for safety since it's not meant to withstand shoves like we've seen from Boston Dynamics robot Petman. Uh, the creator SRI Robotics hopes that this technology will pave the way in the future toward seamless robotic prosthetics and exoskeletons. You know, Ashley, you can tell by the way he uses his walk. I think that might actually be the, the best joke you've ever made on this show. It doesn't, it doesn't say much for me. <laughs> it's a pretty low bar. A plus. Pretty low. A plus joke. Uh, what do you want to talk about on Thursday's show? I want to talk about uh, golf carts when jetpacks uh, have a baby. <laughs> yeah, this is so weird. Yeah. Uh, you know, maybe we should talk about what you could actually use a golf cart jetpack for. You mean Sky Golf? I would totally play Sky Golf. <laughs> play Sky Golf. Yeah, we would love to hear what you think a golf cart jetpack could be used with, for, by. With, for, by, anything. whatever. Use uh, the hashtag HeyTD. Yes. Tell us. We're, uh, we're dying to know. And we'll use your feedback on Thursday's show if we like it. If we don't, we're not going to use it. So make it good. <laughs> uh, I am very excited about Thursday's show. We have an awesome guest, so make sure you tune in tomorrow. Oh, yeah, really cool stuff, especially if you're thinking about going to see Star Trek this week. You're going to want to see this interview. Very cool stuff. But for now... Huh. Let's check out our photographer for the day. Okay. Today's photographer of the day is Eli, who took this adorable picture with a Nexus 6P. I love this picture so much. Eli writes to us and says, Sup, Ashley and Jeff, about the show. Let's just say I'm really bummed when there's no new show in the morning. Aww. I have a lot of different pets, just like you, Ashley, but since you were asking for something unusual, I present to you my pet tortoise. She's been in our family for almost 20 years, and even though her name translates to very slow, <laughs> don't let it fool you, she really can be Schumacher sometimes. <laughs> one minute she's barely moving, next one she's gone. And when she does wander off, we can still spot her thanks to our ingenious geo-positioning system. See in the picture, take it on my Nexus 6P, <laughs> which looks very to me high to be tech. a piece of red tape. Very high tech. It looks to be a piece of red tape. What's, uh, what's very slow? I, I like he didn't actually tell us what the name of his pet is. I love that. What's the name of this tortoise? Very slow. It's uh, it translates to very slow. Uh, uh, I don't know. In what language? We don't That's even know what question. language. It could be any language. Swedish. It's very uh, slow in Swedish. I love the idea that that this pet's been around for twenty years. It's probably going to outlive everybody because don't don't they live like hundreds of years? Usually, you have I have friends who have a tortoise and they have had to will the tortoise wow. to their niece because it will outlive them. Wow. Kind of amazing. Uh, I like it. Just it. like 
And where did that tortoise go? Somebody just stick a red scarf on it, please. Yeah, we gotta keep tabs on this tortoise. I'd put a little tile, the little tile, you know? You oh yeah, like you can get for your keys. Smart tile for your keys. You got one for your tortoise. It works out really That's great. Good. Uh, if you guys want to send in your photography of your pets, we've got about a week left um, of fantastic pet photography. Yeah. You can email your picture to tomorrow at cnet.com. But, you know, follow our guidelines, and that is tell us what technology you, you use to take your picture, because we're always interested in that. Mm -hmm. uh, give us permission to use it on the show. Mm -hmm. Tell us how to pronounce your name mm -hmm. and the names of your pet. And, most importantly, we love those little stories about why you took that picture, who your pet is, all it's, that fun stuff. It's key. Yeah. It's key. Uh, that is it for today's show. We'll be back tomorrow with a uh, deep dive into all of our favorite headlines of the week. If yep. you want to go back and do your homework, Watch the previous episodes, the last two episodes, including uh, not including today. You can get a feel for what we're going to discuss. Yep. And uh, we'll be back. But until then, be good humans. Bye, guys.